What's happening guys? Here we got another classic motocross off-road bike. This is a Husqvarna 125. It is came from a local collector who's had it in his collection since the 70s. It needs a restoration. I think he started restoring it and never finished it. And we got a six month backlog, so it's being sold as is. This is probably bike number 120 of the 150 bike auction. Uh, take a look at it. Uh, so let me go over all the virtues on it and then I'll point out the issues that it has starting at the front. The original forks are, appear to be in excellent condition. It has a brand new front tire on it, which is still had the, has the nubs on it. Brand new Dunlop uh, Sport D52 front tire and tube. The front rim this looks to be in good condition as does the front forks. This was stored indoors, uh, so the front fender, number plate are intact. It's got some new hardware on, on the number plate. It's got the, I believe the original bars, but I'm not sure. It does have a new clutch lever and perch, has a new brake lever and perch, has a new Husqvarna crossbar pad. The original tank is in really good condition. It has one little ding right here that a dent magician could pop out. The original saddle is in good condition, needs to be recovered. Rear fender in frame, probably the main component that you want to uh, confirm is good besides the engine cases is the frame, it appears to be good. In fact, it does have the kickstand on it, which is surely an indication uh, that it wasn't raced off-road, because um, usually this would be long gone. It does have the kickstand. The, the stop on the front is, is broken on it, so it would need to be welded on. It goes too far forward, but a, a decent welder could do that in 10 minutes. Uh, shocks, rear swing armor intact. The rear wheel is mounted, but the, it's not tightened up. And there's no chain on it, but the rear wheel is intact, um, as you can see. The swing arm also. Uh, what else can I say about it? It has on this side of the motor motor the motor appears to be complete with the kicker But um the uh, Engine is actually seized. I think that's why it's not running right now. It's been sitting forever I don't know if it's seized when running or seized uh, From sitting I know I know it's been in storage for 30 years though because all of his bikes were the engine cylinder and cylinder head appears to be in good condition the kicker shifter foot peg Engine cases all appear to be in good shape. Has the original Bing carburetor and the air box intact. And it has a really nice custom uh, exhaust on it. I'm not sure of the manufacturer, but it looks brand new. It looks like a factory pipe. Definitely a, a cool piece. The pipe alone is probably worth two, two to $300. So lots of great parts on this bike. Excellent candidate for restoration and or a parts bike. Everything's there. Um, always check the frame rails on my classics. Um, that's like the first thing I check. Check out this frame rail. Wow. Not a single ding in this, not one on this side. The frame's absolutely perfect on that side. Let's check this side. More good news on this side, not a single ding. So if I was a betting man, I would bet that early on in its life, this thing seized up and it's been in storage since the 70s uh, or, or 80s. But um, I can't say because I wasn't there. All I can tell you is what I see looking at the bike in that if you know anything about off-road bikes, if this is raced off-road, there would certainly be things in the bottom of the engine. The engine cases look great. If you zoom in here, you'll see it even has a Husqvarna uh, manufacturer plate is still intact there. So um, that's about it. I don't know what else to say. Uh, the foot peg's intact. The rear brake lever's intact. The chain guide, the chain stay, uh, the rear sprocket. You can see the Made in Sweden logo on the rear brake. Everything's intact there. Uh, as is this side of the engine cases. It is missed. The counter shaft sprocket is not on there and it's missing the chain. Looks like the chain came off and, and uh, uh, broke the um, engine case mount cover. Uh, that's not a, a crack all the way through the case. It's only the mount piece for the cover that's cracked right there. So that could be repaired also. So engine mounts are intact on the front. Um, air box is intact as is the original 125 logo. I believe that's original factory 125 logo. So if you have any questions about this, absolutely awesome, classic 125, give us a call, 860-454-7024. It's being sold to raise continuation funds for the New England Motorcycle Museum. Junior, is there anything you'd like to add? No, wrap it up, please. All right, if you have any questions, give us a call. Uh, sold as is, engine is seized, missing the chain. It's going to need a little love, but certainly an awesome candidate to resurrect. Rebuild the motor. you got a perfect frame. Put a new seat cover on it and uh, doll it up a little bit and you got yourself a three, $4,000 bike. Restore it to like new condition, it's worth five or six. So these are going up in value. A museum quality piece like this would, would be well north of 5,000. So low reserve, good luck bidding, God bless America.